way. So, what is up everyone? Welcome back to WRX Garage. Today's install is something that has been in the works, getting whipped up in the Dark Matter X lab for quite some time now. I don't even really know what to say about this because I've been following this channel um, and this engineer for so long. Um, ever since they started making videos and content, I thought that the products that they were making were some of the coolest things, like conceptually. Um, so I actually got the opportunity, I reached out and um, I'm going to be testing one of the brand new prototypes for a Dark Matter X shifter. So um, this video is going to be incredibly cool because this is going to be my first time really working on the shifter components on this car. Um, it's going to be a bit of a long install, so I got my yerba here. It's not a beer. If anybody hasn't jumped on the yerba train, make sure you guys do that. Uh, all right, so um, let's start off this video by hopping into the car and just talking about the OEM shifter. So here we are in the car. When we're talking about the shifters in these Subarus, the WRX and STI, the two are very different. The STI is a different transmission. The WRX is a different transmission. It is still a six speed, but it is a split case transmission. And overall, the STI has a much, much better, more linear, um, you know, more mechanical shift feel. However, on the, WR the WRX, you know, there is a ton of different options for improving your shift feel. You can do the shift stop to keep the gates a little bit tighter. But everything that you do, no matter what, there's always going to be a little bit of slop. And that's okay because, you know, that's something that I've gotten used to, but it always has left me wanting more. And like I said, you can do a short throw shifter, you can do the shift plate, you can do the shift bushing underneath. There is a ton of different things you can do, but at the end of the day, the Subaru shift mechanism is always a little too clunky. It doesn't feel super fluid. It doesn't feel smooth. It doesn't feel linear. It doesn't feel mechanical. Now I've talked about in the past about my, you know, Personally, I'm not a big fan of short throw shifters because one of the issues with Subaru um, shifters, sorry, it keeps going out of focus. There we go. So one of the problems with Subaru shifters is that this little point of resistance going into gear right there, you kind of have to push through. So when you go, you know, if you, that's a perfect example. So if you go third to second, it's not bam, one diagonal motion. It's, and you have to get onto that gate, feel that resistance and pop it through. Um, now, if you do a short throw shifter, if you think about physics, if you have this weighted shift knob, right? And you make it lower down and you make the throw shorter. Yeah, it might feel a little bit better, but what you're actually doing is you're you're increasing the amount of force needed for your input to go past that resistance, past that into that gate, that little bit right there where it's super resistive. It's just simple physics. And that's the reason why people do weighted shift knobs is because the more weight on the top of the longer lever, the less input, right? The weight helps the shifter fall into gear. So when you lower that, you're reducing the lever length and you're actually increasing the amount of force you need to use with your hand to go in. So that's the other reason why I have never really done anything with this. That being said, the Dark Matter X is a, it's not a short shifter. It's not a shift plate. It is a full 100% replacement of the entire shift mechanism. So I did peek at this the other day because obviously 
And so I get something in, I am always so excited to see what it is. This thing is just gorgeous. Oh, so this guy's right here is the meat and potatoes. This is a brand new, completely new shift mechanism that is going to completely change the shift feel. It's going to make it more accurate. And overall, it is just so cool. Uh, there's a bunch of other little bits here and there inside the box. But the most important one is this piece right here. So let me lay this down, get you guys a better camera angle. So this piece right here is solid steel, um, has a couple axial bearings at the end, radial bearings, I forget what these are called exactly, but um, this piece is the, combined with the overall system is one of the biggest changes. Um, this is a solid shift linkage and it is going to be completely replacing the OEM cable linkage. Um, the cable linkage is really the forward and back motion where you're going into each gear. This is what that controls, or this is the connection that controls that going forward and back with the shifter. This entire piece is going to be going forward and back with the shifter. And so when you replace the cables, you are putting a direct link from your hand to the top of the transmission. And uh, that is going to be, you know, it's pretty revolutionary. Um, that's the only word I can really think of. This entire system is really a complete change from anything else that's on the market. Um, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. A couple things to note. So this is a prototype part, guys. Um, there are, you know, it's kind of like a pre-production prototype. Um, one thing about Dark Matter X that I do want to tell you guys about, the guy running the show, his name is Eric. He is basically the, the, the owner and the guy who runs everything for Dark Matter X. Um, he hand built these from the ground up using 3D printing, engineering software, um, CNC machines. He literally, from the ground up, from scratch, built this himself. He's a dude that lives uh, here in the US, um, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, but like I said, this one I have in my hand is a prototype. Um, there are some things and revisions that will be made. Um, we're actually going to be sending these back after, um, I think it's like a couple months, this thing's like six months of use, if I remember correctly, um, so that he can take a look at them, make sure all the components aren't wearing, make some revisions here and there before doing the final production release. So um, there are some things that might change on it. Um, and, you know, there are some things that he is going to make, um, you know, a little bit, um, maybe a little bit prettier, a little bit easier to make, to work with. But um, overall, the installation shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to this because it's, it should be pretty good. That being said, um, I'm not gonna be doing a full instruction how-to video. Um, I will be showing you guys some cool things here and there and like what I'm doing in general, but all the individual nitty gritty steps, so a lot of them are going to change for the production model when you guys can go out and buy one. So um, I'm not really going to be going into that. I will be making that video down the line uh, when they do the final production release. But for now, let's get the car lifted. Let's get you guys on a cool time lapse and get this installed and I'll be talking to you guys here and there during that process. Okay, so quick update. <laughs> I've been putting some work in. Um, so car is lifted. I have the uh, original shifter already pulled out. All of the cover plates are off. Um, it's kind of hard to get under there and show you guys. I'm gonna go grab my GoPro actually pretty soon here because it's charging and uh, I can get that started. But let me flip the camera around and show you guys the differences between the Dark Matter 
X shifter and the OEM. So the OEM uses two simple pulleys or levers essentially. You have this little white one that connects to the actual shifter. And then I think this right here is the reverse, come on, focus. On the left is the reverse lockout, the little silver one. And this is the guy she told you not to worry about. Super, super cool. Um, the shift linkage right here is actually going to directly bolt onto, I believe it's this lever, silver lever right here. So you're basically directly connected instead of it having it inverted to the uh, shifter here. So um, absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm gonna start installing this. Um, it's a little tricky, but we'll see how it goes. So quick update. Um, it looks like a little bit of a mess right now because I'm just uh, halfway through the installation here, but we have it mounted up. I'll get you guys an automatic. Um, there we go. And it looks so beefy. Um, I haven't hooked, hooked up any of the cables yet, the new connecting rods, the, uh, the shifter rod, um, but it bolts right into the frame. You don't have to do any drilling, nothing like that. So relatively easy so far, other than me dropping a couple bolts into the abyss here and having to find them. Um, but we have uh, a couple of pretty unique, there's a shift stop on the left side, and then there is a second shift stop that's gonna go right here on the right side. And um, I'll show you guys all the functions before I put the trim back on so you can see how everything works in a little bit. But this is where, where I'm at right now. Um, super excited to keep going and uh, should only be, I don't know, maybe another hour or so before I can show you guys, so. So it's been a long day, uh, a lot of little things here and there to figure out. Um, with any kind of prototype, you know, there's gonna be uh, little things you gotta figure out, um, kind of flying by the seat of your pants a little bit, but overall, this kit is absolutely amazing. Um, I haven't put the shift knob on yet, so I haven't really felt it with a weighted shift knob, but just from what I was doing with the testing, making sure I was going into gear and all of that, it feels amazing and like nothing else I've ever driven. Um, it's better than the STI transmission. It's better than modified STI transmissions. It is truly amazing. So, um, so I left the trim off so you guys can kind of see all these different components in here. Like I said before, we have a shift stop on the right side for fifth and sixth gear. We have one on the left side here for first and second. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like going into gear quite yet. Uh, but essentially, this right here is where my finger is. Let's see if you guys can see that. This right here is the direct connection all the way down with the steel shaft to the OEM shift plate. And that direct connection, there's no cables, a direct connection makes this feel so, so amazingly good. All right guys, so here's what it looks like with the my shift knob on. This is the racing slammer textured. Um, it's actually one of my favorite things about um, one of my cars. It just feels so good in the hand. Um, and it's really stood the test of time, but um, let me show you guys some of the functions down in here. And just listen to how solid these clunks are. Ready? All right, guys. So it is the next day. I have everything buttoned up. Um, the shifter is working and functioning 100% properly. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little view from underneath the car about what's actually going on with this shifter. Um, there are quite a few more complex components, but really there are two main points that I wanna focus on. One being this shift cable right here that I'm pointing at. The OEM shift cable originally attached to just one little ball joint 
on the bottom side of your shifter. And essentially this one controls the left and right movement. So when you move left from neutral um, over towards the first and second gates and then moving right towards fifth and sixth and in reverse. Um, so essentially this um, entire shifter kit, it doesn't just address the feeling of going into the individual gates, it addresses that side to side movement as well. So as you can see here, this lever that I'm pointing at here moves when you move the shifter left and right. So it pulls out to go to the right, I believe, and then pulls, pushes in to go to the left. Um, and the fact that you have a more mechanical, almost direct um, movement, you have a uh, basically the movement of your shifter is now directly connected with metal fittings to that left and right movement means it means that one the 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 spring action of it snapping into neutral um from left and right is stronger than oem but also that it just feels more direct um so if i move over to the other side here uh, let's see if i can get a good light on it here we go. So on the other side here, we have something, we have something very similar where we have for the forward and back motion, we have another direct connection for this linkage arm. This, uh, it's a, the linkage rod, this black rod you see, replaces the actual OEM cable and connects directly to the top of the shifter. So I'm gonna go back up in the car in a second and show you where it connects on this side. But if we follow it down, here's our OEM shift plate, which is right here on my hand. Again, sorry, it is so dark. Let me see if I can get a better light angle on it. There we go. So this piece right here that I'm pointing out with my hand up here is the shift plate. And as you can see, I can push up and I can push down. So this is going right now because the, the shifter is resting in the middle. It's going when I push, let's see, that's fourth. And then this is up as third and it locks in. So obviously with this metal shifter, this metal, sh metal shifter rod, shifter arm, it's steel. Um, so instead of having that loosey goosey, gross shifter cable, we have a literal direct connection that pushes, into, pushes and pulls into each gear, which makes it amazingly smooth and there's nobody up inside the car showing you guys and moving the shifter around. I'm using my hand here to push and pull this shifter, which means that with just the force of my arm underneath here, it makes it so smooth that I can actually do that. So let me go and show you guys inside the car another couple of cool details. So now that we are back up top, the other thing I want to show you guys here I can get it in focus. Right here, where I'm pointing, this little silver dowel, um, or the sil silver bearing, essentially, this connects to a an arm that connects to the frame and is directly connected to this shifter. And the little ball bearing here attaches to the end of that metal rod that we were showing you underneath. So like I said, how direct this is, the biggest difference that this does when throwing it into each gear is that on the OEM shifter, this connection was directly underneath, which means it was inverted. So an inverted lever, which means that when you pu pulled back into fourth, it would essentially do the same thing this one's doing, but it would have to go through the tiny little metal piece with the little metal ball on the bottom that would connect in. Whereas this one, 
your actions on the shifter are directly translated through a super, super solid steel piece, milled steel, or probably CNC to be honest. Um, and all of your actions that you're doing with the shifter are directly transferred through this super, super solid housing and then through the super solid steel rod instead of the cables. So again, is just incredible. Um, let me give you guys another, sorry the lighting's so bad here. Let me give you guys another little demonstration. Come on autofocus, there we go. One finger into <laughs> third gear. Ready? Well, again, into third. Bink. So I think I got this to, you know, dialed into exactly where I want it. Um, so let me show you guys the final product of where everything kind of sits now. So neutral, pretty good movement to signify that it's in neutral. First gear, no play. Second gear, tiny bit of play, that's fine. Third gear, super solid. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, and then reverse lockout for a reverse. This thing is an absolute beast, guys. It really feels amazing. So um, let me throw you guys on the GoPro and then tilt the camera down towards the shifter and I'll show you guys you know, what it feels like while actually driving and I'll talk about it too. So we're gonna start this video out with me just reversing out of the spot here. So reverse works perfectly. Neutral the first gear feels great. First to second. Oh. Second to third, it's just so linear, guys. It is incredible. Third to fourth, just incredible. <laughs> oh, the quick shifts. It just thunk, 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 thunk. Every single gear. Holy shit, guys. All right, so we're just gonna do a third downshift, second. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, that second to third. Guys, I am just blown away with this thing. Dark Matter X, Eric, you are an absolute wizard. This thing feels amazing. And the fact that he built this from the ground up, basically from scratch, from his own engineering mind, is just incredible. So let's do another four to third downshift. Ooh. Back down to fourth. I'm almost at a loss for words how good this shifter feels. Third to second downshift coming up. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That feels amazing. Um, one thing that is slightly different than OEM is that the position of the shifter is a bit farther forward. Um, it's a bit farther forward um, sitting, so I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just something I probably need to get used to. But overall, you know, the height, I really like that the height is about the same as OEM because it makes it feel very normal in my hand. I don't like those really low stubby ones, so this feels really good so far.
<laughs> I am going to like this shifter so much. Like I said, it is different. It's going to take some getting used to. Um, but now that I have everything dialed into how I like it, I've done like a couple different revisions after driving around town a couple different times. And uh, I think I found the sweet spot of exactly, exactly where I like it. And um, oh, do I like it. Yes, I do. This is incredible. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys, it's the only way I can explain how this feels. I'm gonna, when I get back home, I'm gonna draw you guys a little diagram. Um, and uh, I think that'll help explain it. So um, one thing I'm also gonna do is really quick, I'm gonna throw the shift trim on here, um, like the shift boot, just so you guys can see what it looks like with that on there because um, it does work perfectly. Obviously you gotta take the shift knob off and then place it right on but it does work perfectly with that. It doesn't really stretch the boot or anything like that. Um, so it's, uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second here. <laughs> the second to third is so fast. Oh my God. It's so intuitive and then every single shift you can do so much cleaner and faster it's the same movement as OEM and I'm not even used to it yet and it just it goes exactly where you want it to like mentally where you have first second third fourth fifth mapped so here it is with the shift boot on there um, like I said it looks really really good it's really cool actually um, I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to put the top of the trim on this little knob here. There is a per nice little spot for it um, that sits in really well, but I could also put it like resting right here below the reverse lockout. Um, I'm not sure, but um, this is what it looks like. I wanted to show you, tell you guys about on this is that it does have the exact OEM thread pitch for your shift knobs. I don't know why my camera's being such an asshole today. Um, so you guys can thread on any aftermarket shift knob you want. Dark Matter X is coming out with their own shift knob. So if you guys want that, that'll be um, up on their website soon. Um, but it does take the OEM shift knobs. This is what I was trying to explain in the car. Um, so this is the H pattern. Obviously it's exaggerated, not really proportional, but essentially you have each of the gates for the each gear. Now there's a block on the little reverse lockout, that's fine. The difference between the OEM one and the Dark Matter X is that there's no resistance or little bubble at the beginning of each gear slot. And the shifter almost feels like it falls into each gear perfectly. So if we do a, a close up of the gate for first gear, like this, on the OEM one, this is what it feels like. It feels like there's a little stopper at the beginning of the gate that you have to line up the, the shifter perfectly with. The shifter, like this and you have to push it past that little gate. So you have to line it up, find it, and then pop it through. With the Dark Matter X shifter, the DM2, that issue is completely eliminated. It feels like the shifter just slides straight in and feels so good in your hands. So, a little hot today. But um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, this was a project that Dark Matter X has been working on for quite some time. Um, the release date or expected release date, I believe is spring of 2023. So 
pretty soon, I think about maybe six months from now, around then is when they're doing the production release. So obviously when that occurs, I will let you guys know, we'll make a full video of the final product. Again, this is just a prototype that I had the privilege of testing out. Um, and we're definitely gonna be putting it to the test. We are keeping the shifter in when we go to the track. And from what I felt already just driving around town, it is going to hold up to pretty much any abuses that you put it through. So, super happy to be able to do this and install this and uh, experience this new product. So, as always, all of Dark Matter X's information is going to be down in the description, their website. Um, I'm also gonna put a link to their Discord. Um, the Discord is actually a really cool little community where everyone is sharing stuff about their cars, but they're all, there's also a lot of updates that Eric has been giving about the shifters, um, about the development, the background process. Um, I'm also gonna link his YouTube channel where he shows a ton of the engineering process behind making these. So if you guys wanna check that out, please go do that. One quick thing, they are accepting pre-order so Dark Matter X is accepting pre-orders for the DM2. If you guys liked this video and you really like this product, you can put a pre-order in before the production is released. Um, before the production release. So if you want it now and you want it as soon as possible, make sure you guys drop a pre-order, um, you know, buy it. And of course, again, that link will be down in the description as well. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do because we have a couple other really cool installations coming up for the track WRX behind me. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next week. Peace.